What's up? It's your boy, Mr. T-Money, 1993, back with another vid. Um, just got through listening to Buffalo Heroes reply to me and other people at the Panther Nation. Now, I'm just going to worry about what you said to me and what you said about the Panthers in general. Um, you start off kind of cheerleading for the Patriots. I don't know why. But... Um, you talked about how you're not scared of our secondary because our secondary is not that good. All right. Y'all only gave up 30 less passing yards than we did. Yeah, it was a Tom Brady, but who was he throwing it to? Danny Amendola with a groin injury. Edelman, who was what, like a sixth option last year? Dobson. I mean, come on now. Y'all gave up. We gave up 300, I think 300 passing yards. Y'all gave up 270. To Russell Wilson, Russell Wilson with their full offense. Now, is our secondary, our secondary is our weakest part of our defense. No question, no question, our weakest part. But it's not that bad. Um, If it was me, I would probably have Josh Norman starting right now over Josh Thomas. We mainly have Josh Thomas in there because he's a better tackler and he's more physical. Um, Captain, Captain can take Stevie Johnson out of the game. Check Sidney Rice. Um, Sidney Rice only had like 40 something yards which is more than what Stevie Johnson had but and uh you actually made three incorrect statements in your other video <laughs> uh, one was Bruce Ivory being a secondary player which you corrected yourself on that um Cam's touchdowns, you corrected yourself on that, but you didn't correct yourself on the whole you being wrong about Stevie Johnson and Fred Jackson. You tried to uh, call me out because I said Fred Jackson had more receiving yards last week than he did against the Patriots, which is true. Uh, Fred had 41 yards. I think it was like 41, 43, something like that. Stevie Johnson only had 30-something yards. So that's your third mistake. So you're trying to talk about everybody else making mistakes. First of all, you pointed out no mistakes that I made, so maybe that was directed more to everybody else. But you making a lot of them, and uh, I just I can't see y'all winning. What I mean, you haven't pointed out the whole week what way are y'all gonna win? Okay, you want to talk about Cam having? I mean, people talking about Cam having 125 yards. That's against a Seahawks defense. EJ only had what 150 versus. A Patriots defense that's not that good. They're really not. Um, so again, you haven't said it, and I don't see a way that y'all gonna win. You tried to say you didn't get smacked. I made my video. You had no answer. And even the video you made, you came out with today, is nothing you could really argue about that I said. And my definition, yeah, that's getting smacked around. Um, you came at more at Ed Boogie and Panther Huddle and all them, which I mean that's cool. You came at Newtonize, uh, Newtonize RBJ. Like I can't even respect Newtonize RBJ, so you can say what you want to him. Like really, to me, I didn't count him as part of Panther Nation. That's just my opinion because he didn't own up to his bet with 24/7 Seahawks, which is real weak to me. So I mean, you can talk about Newtonize RBJ all you want. Uh, Ed Boogie, I mean, he's an, uh, he normally comments on stuff, but I think that's one of his first videos actually making, at, one of his first times actually making a video. So, I mean, yeah, you can come at them, but uh, I I don't see y'all winning. I see it being 21-10, 28-10. We gave up 12 to Seahawks, and y'all offense is not on that level. And I talked about our defense line of linebackers because I'm pretty sure in your other video you was talking about how C.J. Spiller and Fred Jackson was going to do work, which they're not. Marshawn's better than both of them, and we held him to 43. C.J.'s best attribute is getting to the outside, which is not going to help him. Charles Johnson, Greg Hardy on the outside, linebackers. Be, all three of our linebackers sideline to sideline fast. Thomas Davis, Beasley, and Keekly. So y'all run game, don't even worry about that. Passing game, Stevie Johnson's not going to do work. Captain Muddle is good enough to cover him. Um, tight end, 
Does y'all, I mean, I don't know if Chandler even does anything. Y'all other receiver, um, I think it was you or somebody else comment or something talking about Robert Woods. You mean the same Robert Woods that only had one catch? Yeah, it was a touchdown, but he only had one catch. Y'all third receivers out the game, the real fast guy y'all got, uh, Marquis something, Marquis Goodwin or whatever his name is. He's not even playing. He's out. We not worried about y'all secondary. Gilmore's out with his wrist. Bird's out. Who do y'all? I mean, who else do y'all have in y'all secondary? The way we gonna beat y'all, we gonna be able to run the ball. Daniel's gonna go ham. Um, with Ted Ginn and uh, Ted Ginn's gonna be on. He's probably gonna catch a few quick screens, things like that, just to get the ball in his hands. Um. I don't even know who y'all have left in y'all secondary. That was y'all two best players. Smitty's going to be able to have – he's going to be able to do what he wants. Greg Olson, I don't think y'all have any linebackers who can cover Greg Olson. Greg Olson, to me, is one of the best all-around tight ends in the league. He can block. He can catch. I mean, he does whatever you need him to do as a tight end. Um, plus, yeah, we had less passing yards. First of all, that's the Seahawks, one of the best secondaries in the league, being honest. Second of all, Armani Edwards was limited. He stepped up in the preseason this year. He looks a lot better. Even when I went down to the practice, he was catching stuff. His ability is to run across the middle and make the tough catches. Dominique Hickson didn't play at all last week with his hamstring. He's going to be back. You talked about quitting Mike Kale. He's our backup safety. Our starter is Mike Mitchell, who they said should be back this week. The only people who's out, I think, is Kenyon Barner. And James Dockery because he broke something. I think his thumb or something. Other than that, we're getting, we getting even stronger offense and defensive side of the ball. Defense, like I said, we got Mike Mitchell coming back. DeWine Edwards, I think they said he's doing better with his injury. Hopefully, Beasley's going to be able to take some more snaps and be more in shape. Because even at, towards the end of the game against Seahawks, Beasley wasn't in that much because he was – out of shape. I mean, he's not in the best football shape right now because he's hurt. Offense. Our line, our mini Silatolu is uh, supposed to be coming back, which he tweeted me the other day. Well, he favored it one of my tweets the other day. He should be back at one guard, which means Chris Scott and Travell Wharton's all probably going to uh, rotate. So that's, I mean, our line's better. We're getting some more of our options at receiver back. And y'all have no Richard Sherman on y'all defense. Y'all have no Cam Chancellor on y'all secondary. Y'all have no Earl Thomas. So, I, I I mean, you can point it out if I'm wrong. You saying you think y'all going to win? And, I mean, in what way? What do y'all have over us? The best special teams guy is gone. Y'all offense isn't as good as ours. Y'all defense isn't as good as ours. Um, coaching, I think all y'all coaches really I've heard from him is about the whole doing the up tempo thing, which we've already had practice against that from Philly and from Baltimore because Baltimore ran some no huddle with Joe Flacco. So we're not stunting that. And even if y'all running backs was to get loose, we got secondary guys who can tackle. Captain's a good tackler. Godfrey is our free safety. He used to be our strong safety, so he can definitely tackle. Mike Mitchell might tear somebody's head off. Stevie Johnson better not run across the middle. Um, Josh, and Josh Thomas is a good tackler. So I just don't see no way y'all can win. Like I, I, I've been predicting it all week, 21-10, 28-10. That's my thing. Um, but, yeah, I mean, nice try. Nice try. It's no hate. It's no hate for y'all. I don't hate the Bills. Are we going to win? Yes. But do I hate the Bills? No. It's some players that I respect on there. CJ and EJ. Mario Williams, I respect him. But if he's playing in front of Jordan Gross, I don't know how much pressure he's going to really do anyway. Jordan Gross has been holding it down at left tackle. Shoot. Ten plus years? Now, if he lined up over Brian Bell, we might be in trouble. In the passing game. Not in the run game, because Brian Bell's a good run block. But, yeah, this Mr. T-Money 1993, just for my answer back to Buffalo Heroes. Um, man, you better just have my crow. That's all I got to say.
Anyway, this miss like I said, this miss T minus ninety three and I'm out.